gaining levels with the Buddha fruit is the best and the easiest way to do this. But today, guys, we're going to get ourselves some upgrades and check out all the codes that exist in this game to be ready for the next update. So currently, we are working our way towards, of course, C3. We are still a little bit lacking behind, and now we have a very long grind ahead of us because we have to go from level 800 to 900 on the same NPC. So the thing we have to do is super simple. We have to take down the swan pirates all the time. You can see just to go ahead and do a few basic attacks, and we're done with the quest. We're at 796 currently, but we have to get level 900 before we can go ahead and do the Colosseum quest and get ourselves our new quest. So it is going to take a long grind, but I heard that it's better to move on from Dark Step to the Water Kung Fu style. So that's what we're going to do today. So first up, I'm going to have to move over to C1 again. I'm sorry, C2, you were absolutely lovely, but I need to get myself my C1. But as well, there is a hot and cold island which has the same NPC. So actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit because I have not explored the sea at all in C2. So I think I'm going to go ahead and find the hot and cold island myself and see if we can find the NPC that sells us our new fighting style. Of course, we're talking to the luxury boat dealer. We're getting ourselves that thousand dollar sentinel because this is my favorite boat to use. I'm going to go ahead and unmorph from Buddha and uh, hello? <laughs> hello, ship. Please, can I, can I, can I sail? Okay, let's go ahead and buy the boat again. Please, can I, uh... uh it's just, it's just broken? Hello? Alright, there we go. We have uh, reloaded the world, and now we have to find the hot and cold island. So, I know it's an island that exists of two pieces, so I'm looking for, like, a bigger island in C2, which should hold the beautiful new fighting style. I probably should have grabbed the map, which would have made this a lot easier, but who cares? Exploring is fun. Oh my god, that's that big sea serpent! Holy, what is that? <laughs> I was just going to this island thing right there, and it's just a gigantic serpent came out of the world. What the what? What is that? Okay. Oh, there's another one. What? Please leave me alone. 100,000 HP. Oh, no. Oh, no. My ship. No. What? I'm off the ship. Hello? No. Okay. I have a feeling that is not the way to go. Um. All right. So my next idea is going to be uh, stick a little bit close because I was going for that island or thing or maybe submarine in the distance there. But I think I'm going to go for these smaller places like these, for example, uh, just to see if I can find a hot or cold island a little bit more nearby. Uh, because I don't believe that um, I have to go anywhere close to those big sea monsters because those they seem like very, very dangerous. And I don't think I, that's where I need to be. Oh my god, there's another one! Another sea beast! Oh, please! I th just want to go to the island. Oh my god! <laughs> Dodge it! The full moon ends as well, it says. Please, please, leave me alone! Oh, I think I... Is this hot and cold? It could be. Wait, so it's next of the skull area. This looks like hot and cold where I want to be. Okay, wait, let's give this a go. Let's give this a look around. Get myself a spawn point here. There we go. Because if I perish, I definitely want to be on here. Oh, please, just say that I can actually go in here. Okay, good. So we can go over here. And I think the seller should be in there. Would you like to learn water kung fu fighting style for $7,000? This style allows you to manipulate the water that attacks your opponents with it. It also has three special skills. Learn. Yes, there we go. So now we can go Buddha. And we can go Water Kung Fu, which is going to be very, 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 very fast. Okay, I have to take myself a small boat to get out of here because my big boat literally doesn't fit in between these cracks right there. So, yeah, we got the Water Kung Fu style, which is absolutely awesome. And now we can go ahead and move back to where we belong and hopefully not get attacked along the way. We have a very small ship, but this thing actually has a, a 200 more HP, which is very nice. Uh, but I just don't want to get eaten by another big one of those stupid eels, man. Like, the sea beasts are just very scary and they just pop up out of nowhere, which is very annoying. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to the start of the area. I'm gonna, just going to hog the walls, to be honest. That way, hopefully, we should be fine because now we're in the Kingdom of Rose. And we can go ahead and go back to our training location. Ah, back with my feet back on land. The water is just full of scary things. Let's move back to our training area and give you guys all the codes. 
I want to quite... Uh, three, two, and uh, one. I want to quickly try one quest that I want to see how good this actually is. Was it even worth going through all the trouble of getting the water kung fu? Or was it not worth it at all? So let's see. This say, say, they say they, you can actually attack a lot faster with this. Ooh. Okay, this actually, this is going to be very fast. And of course, I'm getting mastery out of the wazoo. Look at that. I'm already level mastery, level 56. I remember when I had to trade like for literally ages to get this amount of mastery. The higher level we get, the faster it's just going to go. It's just so, so nice. Like, oh my god, look at this. Ooh, already done with the quest. Okay, this was definitely worth the upgrade, guys. If you're still using the other one that I was using, definitely get this upgrade to Water Kung Fu. It is so much faster. Of course, I still need to grind 102 levels here, but this is still going to make it a lot more acceptable than that what that it was before. And there we go, ding, level 800. But sadly, according to the leveling guide, I still have to be here for another 100 levels. So... I'm not going to bore you guys with that, of course. I'm going to give you guys the brand new codes that exist inside of the world of Blux Fruits and as well do the giveaway for that Buddha Fruit. So let's get started. So, of course, if you want to redeem the codes, click the little present icon on the left and then this will open up the reward codes. In the air, you're going to have to put the codes in that I'm going to show you guys right now on the screen. For example, we're going to use the code FUD10 for a free whole dollar inside of Blux Fruits. And of course, if you redeem the code already, it's going to say already redeemed, which I've done before. So, on the screen right now, I'm going to quickly show you guys all the codes that are currently working in the world of Blux Fruits and with all the rewards now. Next to it. So you can see we got ourselves Foot 10, Foot 10 V2, Chandler, code big news with an in game title, which can be applied in the second C and third C. And you can go ahead and get yourself kit reset for a free setter set up, sub to Uncle Kizaru and sub to Game Robot underscore reset, all for free set resets. So these are all gonna be the ones that this for some money, for some titles, and free set resets. And then we're gonna go into a bunch of codes that are all for experience. So here we have some of the codes starting with sub to for 99 for two times XP for 20 minutes. So you can use all these, you can save them as well, of course, for the future. If you don't wanna use all of them, but you're just doing a trade, a little bit of training right now, so you're not gonna waste all your boosts. We have NU underscore underscore is pro for 20 minutes of 2 xp code jcwk code star code heo code magic boss code kit gaming code sub to captain maui code sub to official newbie and code the great ace and then we have a few more we get us code sub to new master one to three we have code sub to dyke rock code x your code straw hat main code tantai gaming code bloxy and code sub to game robot underscore xp one those are all the codes currently working in the game of blocks fruits and there's no other ones currently of course there's codes that are expiring we have some admin codes for example but they're just going along the way of the game so which kind of said i would wish that these codes would stay here forever but these are going away every now and then and that's why we make these videos guys we want to make sure that you guys have all the codes and always up to date so you know which ones are working and which ones are not so the last thing i have to do guys before i have to go back to my training regime and that's give you guys a brand new fruit so like i said i want to give away two of these buddha fruits that i have and use today so if you guys want to get those buddha fruits which you have to do you have to like this video subscribe if you're new comment down below hashtag buddha together with your own username name that's everything you're gonna have to do to enter to the giveaway so i'm gonna go back to my training i'm gonna have to slay a bunch more of these guys because like i said i have to get myself level 900 on this set 775 quests because it's literally not worth it and then i have to take on the coliseum so i'm gonna go ahead and grind my booty off and i'll hopefully see you guys back in a future video where we're gonna take on the coliseum quest and maybe even finally see that brand new update in block street so if you guys did enjoy today's video i'd highly appreciate a like down below guys subscribe if you're new and see you guys later today or tomorrow for another video so guys take care love bye thanks so much for watching and of course as well take care guys